With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Three days after a grandfather and four of his grandsons were found murdered at the family ranch, family members stood before Houston Northwest Church and encouraged others not to lose hope or forget that God is gracious. I lost my best friend. He kept me sharp, said Glenn Collins of his brother Mark. Mark Collins, 66, was found dead at the property west of Centerville, Texas, alongside his grandsons. The group had gone there Thursday, June 2nd, to do some fishing at the conclusion of the school year. Investigators believe they were killed by a prison escapee who then stole their truck and was killed later that evening by police in a shootout. Hundreds of mourners gathered the next day at a baseball field in Tumble, northwest of Houston, to commemorate the victims. Waylon Collins was a recent graduate of Tumble High School and an umpire for Little League Baseball. Speaking June 5th at Houston Northwest Church, Glenn Collins urged attendees and viewers to find comfort in the Lord, as he was. My message is encouragement, he said. This is my home, and you are my people, and this is where I find solace and comfort. God is still God, and we're not. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Most Americans, including many people of non-Christian faiths or non-faith at all, are open to a variety of denominations of Christian churches, according to a recent LifeWay research study. Americans have more favorable than unfavorable impressions of most denominations, whether they would personally attend a church of that denomination or not. More Americans have favorable impressions of Baptist churches than any other denomination, according to the study. But Baptist churches are not alone in giving generally favorable impressions. Most Americans think favorably of every denomination. One of the most popular music groups born out of the Jesus movement of the 70s will celebrate their 50th anniversary. The Truth 50th Reunion will be held at Cottage Hill Baptist Church in Mobile on June 17th. We chose Father's Day weekend because my dad has really been a father figure to so many of the hundreds that have traveled on the road in life and ministry and in music said Jason Breland, son of Roger Breland. You can find that full story with lots of details, including the many musicians who have been a part of Truth at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.